Let me just uh, flip this debate around a little bit. You came to power after a career as a journalist, as a human rights defender, and you even spent some time in prison as a political prisoner. You care about human rights. So I wonder if to reach out to Azerbaijan and to indicate that you really are different from your predecessors, are you now prepared to say that in the past, particularly in the early 1990s and late 1980s, the Armenian forces committed some major human rights abuses, crimes of war inside Nagorno-Karabakh. Many independent observers have catalogued those crimes. Are you now prepared to acknowledge them and say sorry for them? Any war is a chain of tragedies. That's why we're saying that let's renounce Let's refuse any possibility of uh, using force for solution of Nagorno-Karabakh conflict. And any peace is compromise. And Armenia always was ready and is ready for compromise. And but, but from the, the other yeah, but side, I'm asking you a very specific you, question. In in the, I'm in, sorry, the I'm spirit, sorry. I, I, in the spirit of truth going, and reconciliation, are you now prepared to say sorry for, for example, the European Court of Human Rights catalog of violations of human rights on the part of the Armenian military? Will you say sorry? European Court has similar catalog on Azerbaijani's atrocities But I'm not talking Armenians. to the Azerbaijanis, and, and, I'm talking uh, to you. Let's, let me to answer your question, please. And we should mention the Sumgait events that happened in, 1990, uh, in uh, late 1980s when Azerbaijani government and Azerbaijanis um, uh, initiated pogroms against the Armenians of Sumgait city in Azerbaijan in yeah, Azerbaijani capital. I, 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 I just and wanted to know whether you're prepared see. to take responsibility and apologize for those abuses and crimes committed by Armenia's forces. It's quite simple, yes or no? It, it, it should be proved who, who exercises uh, atrocities. And I think Armenians of Nagorno-Karabakh are and Azerbaijan are victims. And we can prove that mm. anywhere, well, that, that anytime. Clearly, you're not going to say sorry. And I just wonder whether you feel that right now it's helpful for you to raise the tensions in Nagorno-Karabakh with Azerbaijan to take some of the scrutiny and pressure off your government's handling of the COVID-19 pandemic. Because frankly, looking at the way your government has handled it, it hasn't been a success, has it? Indeed, it has been a real failure of your government. You, over months, have taken a series of provocative actions which have heightened tensions in Nagorno-Karabakh. For example, why last year in August did you go to Stepanakert in Nagorno-Karabakh and make a speech saying Artsakh, which is what you call Nagorno-Karabakh, is Armenia, period, and then led a crowd in a chant, a nationalist chant of unification. That was clearly a provocation to Azerbaijan. Why I said that Nagorno-Karabakh, Artsakh, is Armenia? First of all, Nagorno-Karabakh, for several thousand years, is populated by indigenous Armenian people, and by the way, Artsakh, Artsakh name is aged for several thousand years. Yeah, Prime Minister, Second, Prime Minister, are, it's not, we are to be mutual, honest with you, we, are it, it's not, common, we, we can't go through thousands of years of your history. What we can do is address the realities of today. The UN General Assembly, as you the well reality know, is hang on, hang on. The UN General Assembly has adopted a resolution which quite clearly, quote, demands the immediate, complete, unconditional withdrawal of all Armenian forces from the occupied territories of the Republic of Azerbaijan. Now that's from the UN General Assembly. Under international law, your forces are a force of occupation. You, uh, you choose to go there and talk about that territory being yours. You clearly are not a peacemaker. 
you, you proposed to look at reality. Reality is that in the moment of the start of this conflict, 19%, 18% of population of Nagorno-Karabakh 